Hi, welcome to Inside Yachting. This is Market Watch Wednesday. Now we have about 35 new boats that have come on the market over the past seven days. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, get yourselves over to insideyachting.com. You can contact us from there, or you can email me direct at philip.bell at insideyachting.com. We'll give you the whole spreadsheet of all of this week's boats, and we also have yacht packs ready to go for each and every boat on the list, and that'll give you all the uh, photographs, all the detailed descriptions, and all the specifications of each and every one of these boats. If there's something that you're particularly interested in, then let us know, leave us your name, your email address, and the name of the boat, and we'll get that over to you right away. So, with uh, no further ado, let's take a look at this week's boats. So, we're going from largest to smallest. These are all over the world. Uh, first one is Stella Fura. She's a Benetti built in 1998, went through a refit in 2012. She's asking an uh, amazing price, 5690000 The boat's over in Turkey. Uh, be interesting to see what the overall condition is of the boat for that asking price. That's an amazingly cheap asking price. Uh, five staterooms, and um, it's a pretty nice 23, uh, just over 23 and a half foot beam. Next boat is Sea Loafers. Now, uh, we've seen this boat quite, um, quite a bit over the last few years. It was uh, listed with two uh, of the major yacht brokerage companies over the last three years. It's just gone to a new one now. I think that's why we're seeing it again this week because of the brokerage house change. It's a, a beautiful Westport four stateroom layout, 3,250,000. It has um, it, the MTU engines on board. It, it has quite a lot of um, just stuff on board and I think that's why the boat hasn't sold. It's very, very cluttered, but if you can look past that clutter, um, look to clean the boat out, maybe redo some of the fabrics, and it does have some quite unique uh, carpeting and things on board, then it would be a great boat. Launched in 2000, it's uh, one, of the, one of the earlier uh, Westport 112s. Uh, that boat's here in, in uh, Fort Lauderdale as well, so very easy to see. Uh, Mangusta, this one's in Qatar. Uh, four stateroom layout. It's the enclosed flybridge version launched in 2007. Uh, so 105, they're asking 3,800,000 or, or thereabouts. It's probably priced in euros, but that's the conversion to dollars. Lady Silver, this is a Asthma 105 Asthma. It's here in uh, Miami, launched in 2009. It's a 2010 model, asking 7,800,000. Uh, the, these 100 foot range azimuts do tend to ask quite a, a lot of money for uh, for an azimut. When once the azimuts get up to a certain size range, they'll quite often uh, sort of rebrand themselves as a as a Benetti. Uh, five stateroom layout and has two crew cabins. Fairly nice beam, 21, just over 21 and a half feet. Uh, as I said that was here in Miami. Hakim Seven. We saw this one. Um, Last week or the week before, not sure why it's come up again. Maybe they've changed a few things with the listing. Uh, launched in 1990, doesn't really have much of a, uh, a pedigree, but asking quite a lot. It's a little bit overpriced, if you ask me. Plus, the boat's in Belize, so who knows what can, type of condition it's in. Uh, the Flying Dutchman, this is a nice boat. It's an older Heeson. Heeson is fantastic pedigree, one of the top Dutch builders. This one's launched in 1985. It was uh, refit in 2010. Has a four stateroom layout, one crew cabin. Uh, the boat is here in California. Sorry, not here, but it's over in California. It's here in the States. Uh, called the Flying Dutchman. It's asking uh, just under $1.9 million. That's actually a great price. It's a, a very, very good uh, quality boat for that price. A Reva 85 doesn't give us the name of the boat. Uh, another one that's in Qatar. Uh, launched in 2008, has a 20-foot beam, four stateroom layout. They're asking just under $3.2 million. Azimut 80 Flybridge, this is another uh, Arab Emirates boat. Um, four stateroom layout, this is uh, just over $1.35 million. It's a 2006. Patience, now um, at Inside Yachting, we did it. This is one of the first boats that we did a brochure review of. So if you get onto insideyachting.com, you'll be able to find the 
um, the sort of video tour of this boat and when we flick through all the photographs of the brochure. It's a very nice boat. Marlows are having a bit of a tough time right now. They aren't really selling. There are a lot of them on the market. Patience is a particularly nice option, um, but there are a couple of others of around the same age and size which are priced a lot better than this. Um, take a look at Savannah Ann. Um, she's another great option. We have the yacht pack ready for that. So if you're interested in the Marlows, and let us know and we'll send you all of them that are currently available. Patience is a 2008, 78 feet long. It's uh, in Florida, a four stateroom layout. A nice layout, has two separate uh, sort of VIP areas, one being the master, another separate uh, VIP cabin, full, both full beam. Uh, they're asking 2.795 um, and it's perhaps a, a little bit high for the other things that are available on the market. Mercy Sakes, this is a Viking um, enclosed sport fish, $2.95 million. It's here in Florida that has the four stateroom layout. It's a 2007 boat. Mr. Popeye, this is an azimuth, two stateroom layout, it's 70 feet long, launched in 2010. This is here in Florida as well. Uh, pretty nice asking price, $1.98 million. Uh, 17 uh, feet 9 inches is the overall beam. Uh, very popular boat here, nice um, exterior flybridge area. Ravaganza, this is a Jarrett Bay uh, convertible sport fish boat. As here in Florida, $4.9 million. It is a 2008, though. Uh, they have the high-powered MTU engines on board. Has the um, four-stateroom layout as well. Magic Carpet, this is an old Hatteras, 1991. They're asking $479,000. There's a nice boat, 70 feet, has the four-stateroom layout. Those old Hatteras do have quite a nice interior layout as well, and a very large uh, flybridge. So a good option if you're looking for a... A nice cheap boat to run around in. That's um, in North Carolina. Uh, another Hatteras. This is a sport fish boat, 2002, asking just over a million dollars. It's 70 feet long. It's over in the uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, quite a few boats uh, being listed over there right now. This is another one that's over there. This is a Dominator, uh, 68 feet long. Uh, says the S, but I don't believe it is the S version because it's uh, got a flybridge up on there. Launched in 2007, asking $1.7 million. Only three stateroom layout here, though. Uh, Viking Sportfish convertible, $3.95 million. This is basically a new boat. This is one of their uh, trades that Viking has. It's 2014, has the four stateroom layout. The Vikings have a really nice layout on this uh, 66, as does the uh, the Hatteras that have the, the full beam master cabin in their new uh, sort of 60 to 70 range Sportfish boats. Birdie Time, Spencer, this boat's here in Florida. Uh, $2.965 million. This is the convertible version. Uh, three stateroom layout. So other sport fish from different manufacturers do have the four stateroom layout in that same size range. So uh, depending on what your usage is, you'll narrow yourself down to the different manufacturers. Uh, flight plan. This is another Spencer, but this has the four stateroom layout. This is just under $3.5 million. And the last Spencer, roughly the same um, age, as this one, birdie time, they're asking 2.95 and they're a year younger. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference is between those two boats. Uh, another Spencer, this one's also here in Florida, um, has the four stadium layout launched in 2010. Uh, Azimut Flybridge, another boat in the Arab Emirates. Uh, these are guys are only asking $815,000. The boat's launched in 2004, it's 65 feet overall, has a three stateroom layout. Very, very cheap price for that, uh, for that boat. Ocean Alexander, this is called Sassy. Uh, the boat's in Washington, they're asking $1.925 million. Uh, it's 65 feet long, it's a 2012. Uh, most of the Ocean Alexanders in this size range will have a three stateroom layout, which this one does. Um, they have the uh, lower horsepower MTU engines uh, on board, but a, a nice price for that, for that boat. This is uh, quite possibly the only yellow boat that uh, you'll ever see on the market, or hopefully it is. Uh, this is a 62S. The Azimuth um, S is the 62, 68. So very, very popular boats. They have a great interior layout, very modern um, 
sort of uh, almost art deco looking on the interior, but very um, uh, beautiful sort of layout to that to that main deck with the the big um, retractable section to the to the ceiling. We did a couple of reviews of uh, of the 68 S's, so go on online you can see those. Uh, this one was launched in 2007 and it has a two stateroom layout, does have some nice hull side windows that you can see in there. This boat's in Bahrain, um, they're asking $815,000. Devotion, we saw this um, last week again, not sure why it's coming up again. Uh, the boat's in California, it's asking $1.49 million. It's a three stateroom Ocean Alexander, this is uh, 61 feet, 2012. Um, nice boats, the the uh, 60 Ocean Alexanders. Uh, 60 foot Sunseeker, uh, this one's here in Miami. The boat's asking $1.65 million. Um, launched in 2012, has a three stateroom layout. This, uh, I believe it's probably in 2012, this is probably the Manhattan um, model from Sunseeker. Very, very popular boat over here. Flying Lady, this is a Viking Sport Fish launched in 98, 55 feet long, three stateroom layout. Um, great price, $409,000. The boat's in Palm Beach. Another Azimut, uh, this is one of their Evolutions, asking just under $780,000. Uh, launched in 2006, another uh, United Arab Emirates boat. Not too sure what's going on over there now but uh, they all seem to be listed for sale in the last few days. Uh, the boat has four stateroom layout which is fantastic for this size boat and uh, one of the first boat, one of the first years to have the larger hull side windows as you can see in that uh, photograph there. Uh, Bertram, very popular down here in uh, South Florida, they have a bit great pedigree here. Uh, this one is here in uh, Florida, it's over in Sarasota on the west coast of the uh, Florida leg. Uh, launched in 2005, it's 54 feet long, asking $695,000. Coming up to the last few here, Stern, this is a Grand Banks, 54 feet long, launched in 2005. Uh, the boat's here in Fort Lauderdale, asking $719,000. Sublime, a small uh, open sport fish, sort of an express sport fish, 52 feet long, launched in 2008. Uh, the boat's here in Miami, asking just under a million dollars. Done working, believe we saw this one last week as well. 2005, it was uh, launched in 2004. 2005 is the model. Quite often, boats launched towards the end of the year will be the following year's uh, model. Um, this is here in Dania, it's here in South Florida, asking $459,000, that has a two stateroom layout. Uh, Prestige 500, this is one of the Juno boats, these actually have a great layout, very, very large interior volumes. As you see, it has a three stateroom layout, it's only 49 feet long. The boat is in Mexico, in Cancun, asking $950,000. A fair line, don't see too many of these over here. Uh, 2007, this was built, and uh, this is 2007 model as well, asking just under $550,000. Has a three stateroom layout, <coughs> uh, it's over in Dubai. Don't see too many of them over here, the after sales service wasn't great when they first started coming over here. Uh, Azimut, 46 feet long, a two stateroom layout, um, asking just under $425,000, launched in 2005, uh, another one in Bahrain. And Honey Girl, this is an ocean yacht, uh, asking just under $200,000, launched in 1995, that has a two stadium layout, that's over in Charleston. Uh, McKenna, don't see many of these around anymore, uh, certainly not very many on the uh, used market. $395,000, 48 feet long, launched in 2004, so we're in San Diego. Uh, cruisers, Express Cruiser Yachts, $274,000, launched in 2006, says it's, the model is a 2000, I'm sure there's some uh, spelling or typing errors there. Uh, the boat's over in New York, has a two stateroom layout, nice little day cruiser there. A Maxim, this boat's here in uh, South Florida, launched in 1999, asking uh, just $129,000.
47 foot Atlantis uh, boats over in Bahrain launched in 2008 asking 326,000 the last couple now Carver everyone likes the Carvers uh, over on the east coast this one is in Michigan launched in 1999 has a three-stay layout which is fantastic for this size uh, boat and um, asking $229,000 and last but not least, this is a, a catamaran. This is one of the seaways. It's over in uh, Thailand. Um, four stateroom layout. It does have uh, two cabins in each pontoon, but they are small, uh, more sort of bunks. Uh, great boat, so nice power cats. Launched in 2009. It has, um, I think, twin Volvo engines as, uh, as the powertrain here. Um, and they're asking uh, 330 euros, which works out to be about $450,000. Uh, so that's it for this week. As I mentioned before, we have all of the brochures for all of these boats, as well as any boat that's currently listed on the market right now. So if there's something that you're interested in, you can either contact us via the website, or you can email me direct at philip.bell at insideyachting.com. And uh, keep an eye out every Saturday we put out our uh, latest reviews. So have a flick through the website, um, take a look at some of the free uh, pricing guides and things. A very informative, great information for people that are looking for, uh, for boats in, in the coming months. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week.